Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. Today I want to talk about financial confidence. You know, I've, you've heard this before and my grandma used to say this to me. Money can't buy happiness. You know, grandma was wrong. Money was never meant to buy happiness. Money was meant to buy comfort. So if I'm unhappy, at least I'm comfortable. Love that, huh? You could swip flip that around in your head next time somebody says that. You know, it's always the excuse for not having enough money. Well, money can't buy happiness. But, you know, hey, money was never meant to buy happiness. It's not the point of money. And when we're struggling with money, making comments like that, I believe, shows a lack of financial confidence. And, you know, struggling with money and financial confidence usually go together, right? If you're not vigilant, things can spiral out of control, putting you in an even worse financial position. So you've lost your confidence related to money, and now you're expecting a bunch of money to come into your life. The two really don't go together, right? You know, you can gain financial confidence even when you're not sure how you're going to be able to pay your bills or support going after a goal of yours. You know, you may want to start a business. The money may not be there right now. But you start by getting clear. You must know where you are financially now and where you want to go. You know, and more explicitly, you need to know how much money you earn, how much you spend, how much you owe, and what you want in your life. And you need to be especially clear about this, you know. You must be crystal clear about what you want because you're working with your subconscious mind, which does not think. Remember, things go into the conscious mind if they are emotionally charged, if they are things that we get emotionally involved with, they'll be fed down into the subconscious. That's where we no longer have control. We begin to exhibit behaviors related to the thoughts that we've entertained. So, you know, saying things like, I want financial freedom, or I, I don't want to have to worry about money ever again, just isn't good enough. Because the subconscious mind doesn't know what that means to you. This part of your mind merely accepts images and then moves them into form. So you must give it specific information to work with. Now, if you'd like to gain financial confidence starting as soon as today, I suggest that you pay close attention to what I'm saying here. The ideas I'm about to share with you could change your life. It's absolutely true. But I'm telling you what, just listening to me talk about these ideas and strategies is not going to be enough. Remember, we talk about this all the time. Just thinking, wishing, hoping, and praying is not going to do it. You must move into action and take action to start generating the types of results in your life that you want. And you know, you got to figure out where you stand. You know, no matter how much money you make today, it can be stressful if you're not aware of your income and spending. You know, to start gaining financial confidence, figure out where you stand right now so you can begin building from there. And when we're going to go anywhere, right, we have to know where we're starting from and where we want to go. Otherwise, the GPS won't work. Life works the same way. You have to know where you are today and where you want to go. And that's how we begin to be able to define the path that will get us there. And you know, to start gaining financial confidence, you need to take some time to determine what money is coming in and where and how much is going out. And you can do that by keeping track of your income and expenses for just one month. You can do this using a pen and paper. Um, there's also software applications out there that'll help you. There's even apps on your phone that'll connect to your bank account free of charge. I'll tell you how you're spending your money. If you're wasting money on old subscriptions and things like that, it'll recommend the ability to be able to cancel those. So you may want to think about it because it's an eye-opening exercise that at a minimum will allow you to see where your money is going and if there are areas that you need to address immediately, you know, then you got to think about where do you want to go? You know, while you're tracking your money, fantasize about how much money you want and for what. Don't just say you want more money to live better. Ask yourself, how much better? Absolutely. And you know what? Go for the gold. Big amounts of money. Don't just think, hey, I may get like... 
I just need $100 or $200. You need more than that. Everybody does. So think big. Get out a sheet of paper and draw up a list of all the things or activities that you want or plan to spend money on. I'll give you an example. How much do you want to spend on food? Maybe your mortgage. Do you need clothes? Do you have a car payment? Uh, maybe you have education costs, or you might be saving for that family vacation. I'm sure you have recreation in your life. Are there any associated costs there? You probably have insurance, uh, a general savings account, um, things like utilities, and anything else that might be important to you. You know, and just let your imagination go. I cannot express this to you enough. Let your imagination go and visualize how you really want to live. Then fill in the amount of money it will cost you to do so. You know, and that's the thing. I always ask people, what would you do if on every single Friday you earned as much money as you earned all of last month? And they'll usually never be much of a response or it'll be a general response. They'll say to me, well... I guess I would live a better life, you know? And and that's all they say. And I say, "No, no, what would you what would you do with that money? How would your life change if every single Friday you earned as much money as you earned all last month?" And you know, they think about it, and the more they think about it, a big smile usually appears on their face. And I'm like, "See, that's the magic. That's the bingo point right there." Most people have never sat down with a piece of paper, written that amount, what they would have earned all last month if they started earning that amount every Friday, and then started to define what they would do with that money, what that would look like. See, if you're never planning for something or never thinking about something, it's probably never going to happen. But when you sit down and start putting numbers in your mind and think, well, you know, I, I want to earn $20 million every Friday. Well, when you put a number like that in your mind, it feeds down into your subconscious that begins to think about how things like that might be possible for you. And the ideas just start flowing. The energy starts flowing. I'm telling you, money is not as difficult as you think it might be. And there are many benefits to knowing how you want to live and then setting the financial goals to get there. I'll give you an example. Instead of feeling uncomfortable or apathetic or not in control of your financial affairs, I've been there when I got out of school. I was broke as a joke. I lived in a flat that cost me 260 bucks a month plus utilities. Do you know there were months I struggled to pay 260 bucks a month with the utility costs? I just did. I didn't earn a lot of money. But you know what? It didn't matter because at that point in my life, I was in training for the big things that were coming my way. And they did. And it's the same for you. It doesn't matter where you are today, how much money you earn today, what you think you're po what do you think is possible for you, or what you think you're capable of achieving. You are just in training right now for the big things you're taking action towards. And I'm telling you what, as long as you never quit and you keep moving towards those goals, I guarantee you, you'll get there. It can be no other way. When we set a destination, we can ride in a car, ride on a bike, we could walk, heck, we could crawl, we could fly. As long as we're moving towards that destination, regardless of the vehicle we're utilizing to get there, if we're taking consistent action or consistent steps in this case, we will get to that destination. And so it is with your goals and dreams. So rather than fretting about what your current results are, you need to put your focus on the results that you want. You know, and you will feel empowered and inspired to move towards what you want rather than feeling bad about your current situation. And remember, it's taking that consistent action that's going to make the big things happen for you. You know, and when you're feeling overwhelmed, it is tough to do that. But you can see things written down. And when you write things down on paper, you'll have a visual representation of the hidden desires you carry around. Think about this. Instead of trying to get them all right now, you can pick the most exciting thing on the list and just start working towards that. You know, focusing on one goal that really excites you instead of the long list that will make you more likely um, to 
to hold up. You know, when we when we clutter our minds with a big, huge list of things we have to get done and we don't have a plan or pick a specific goal to attain, it can get a little overwhelming, you know? But here's the deal. By going after your financial goals, you're going to develop invaluable skills, knowledge, and habits that will percolate throughout other aspects of your life as well. You know, I'm going to give you three actions that you can take right away to start improving your financial confidence and the results that you're getting. First, focus on what you want. Think about your goals and what you're going and where you're going instead of what's currently in your bank account. You know, most people will pull up the app on their phone and say, oh, I only have 20 bucks in my bank. Well, that limits what I'm going to be able to do. And then they do what? They start pulling back. Well, I'm going to tell you what me and my friends do when we look at our bank account and aren't aren't exactly happy with what's going on. And and I think most people do this. What do most people do when they look at their bank and, and things are low? They pull back. They lower their standard of living to meet their income. I'm telling you the best way to approach things and the way that me and my friends approach it is we raise our income to meet our standard of living. We don't lower our standard of living to meet our income. And there's the change. That's the switch. When you start planning for big wins, guess what happens? Big wins become possible for you. And it's 100% true. Two, I want you to decide to make a significant financial improvement. You're not going to make a big financial improvement until you decide to do so. So when you decide to make a major move, you have to flip your thinking onto a higher frequency. And it's 100% true. That's what's going to allow you to take the necessary steps to go after something that's way beyond where you are now or have ever been. And just because you haven't been there before doesn't mean you can't go there. You can go anywhere you decide you want to go. You know, increase your awareness. Read and learn more about who you are. And, you know, watch videos like mine. Watch self-help videos. You know, these videos and other information that's available out there, you know, it will help you to trust that your goals and dreams are going to come true. You know, when you get motivation, when somebody's constantly telling you, hey, you can do it, you can do it, you're the best, you're incredible, the ideas you have are worthy, and if anybody can do it, you can. When you hear that constantly, guess what happens? It boosts your confidence. You start to believe, hey, you know what? You're right. I can do it. And then the little winds start coming in. They start to reinforce that confidence within you and allow you to continue to move down the path towards achieving the goals that you set for yourself. You know, I'm going to suggest something. We become what we think about. Go to the grocery store. Buy a yachting magazine. Buy a a private jet magazine. Buy a money magazine. You know what? As you're reading these magazines and putting that type of information into your mind, that's who you're going to become. You see, we become what it is we absorb in our inner conscious mind. It then feeds down to the subconscious. So, you know what? Get involved with money. You want to be better with money? Read books about money. You want to be better at getting out of debt? Read books about money. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the secret to getting out of debt is not focusing on the debt. It's focusing on making more money so you can pay the debt off, right? So surround yourself with tools and instruments, books and knowledge points about money. And you know what? You'll start to focus on money. And then you'll start to build confidence because you'll have more knowledge and information. You want to be a confident chef? What do you do? You go out and you get recipes. You, You practice cooking. You take action towards being a better chef. And guess what happens? you get exactly what you were engaged in. The same is true with money. You know, and you know, Henry David Thoreau once said, what you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. Because see, as we walk that path towards our goals, even if they're financial, we get a new information. So the next time something comes along related to our financial life, we take different actions and we get 
different results because we have new knowledge. We have a better understanding of how to move forward. So like being a better chef or being better at anything in your life, you garner new information and you start taking new actions. So surround yourself with knowledge points. Buy some magazines. They're cheap. You know, you see them at the grocery store, maybe Money Magazine or Forbes or whatever it might be that would interest you. Even subscribe to the Wall Street Journal. You know, when that starts coming, read it. When you start putting knowledge points into your mind around money and how to achieve more and do better with money, guess what happens? You achieve more and do better with money. You know, and when you commit to increasing your financial confidence, like I'm suggesting, you're going to reduce your stress, you're going to raise your awareness, and you're going to build the courage to achieve your financial goals. You know, you don't have to be confident before you start working on your goals, though. Think about that. Right now, you may not be confident, financial or otherwise. But keep this in mind. This is very important for you to understand. <clears throat> Confidence is built over time through study, all right, gaining knowledge and having the courage to take action. Once you get the knowledge, you've got to use the knowledge, and that's how you gain confidence. So commit to learning about yourself and also commit to learning today about financial literacy. You know, come up with ways to generate different streams of income so you can have all the money you need to create the life that you want. Boy, you can go out and do a Google search for side hustles if that's what you want to do. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur, start your own business, be the guy who gets paid first. Whatever it might be that you want to do, I'm going to tell you right now, you can do it. There is a way, I guarantee you. There are people who come from other countries, don't even speak English, don't understand our banking system, don't even understand our money. They open businesses and they move forward and they become a successful entrepreneur. They don't have high-powered friends or they weren't born with a silver spoon in their mouth, yet they come in, they can open a business. I have a friend that owns many successful um, nail salons. And I'll tell you what, he came here from Vietnam. He didn't, he didn't know people. He didn't have friends here. He didn't have a strong understanding of the language. He didn't have the financial literacy you would expect an accomplished entrepreneur to start with when they set up so many successful businesses. But I'm telling you what, this guy makes money hand over fist and he does incredibly well for himself. He not only supports himself, he supports his family and his extended family. He, does it with kindness and compassion. And you know what? I, we can't do enough business with him because I'll tell you what, he's an incredible individual. But don't think you have to start with some advantage to get where you want to go. Advantages will come while you're taking action and walking down the path. I guarantee it. It'll happen for you. You're amazing, incredible, and you know what? You're smart enough to do it. You have everything you need within you to start walking down the path towards whatever dream, goal, or financial situation you want to find yourself in. Remember, you got yourself where you are today. You can change that by taking different actions in the future. So if you're not somewhere you want to be, change your, if you want to change your financial situation, you need to change the actions you're taking financially in your life. Easy enough, free of charge to do that, right? Start doing different things, get different results. You know what? I care about you. I believe in you. And I know if anybody can do it, you can. You're amazing. You're incredible. And I tell you what, I'm going to come back tomorrow. We're going to talk about some more stuff. It's going to be a beautiful day. You know what? Approach today with a smile on your face. Hug your family and stay positive. I tell you what, a positive attitude will just take you everywhere you want to go. Take care, my friends. I'll be back tomorrow.